new research direction for us. It's on autism. Um, so our lab primarily works on uh, learning and memory mechanisms, and uh, we work on a brain structure sitting right here back in the uh, in the brain. It's the cerebellum, and it has a reputation for being involved in motor coordination and motor learning. Um, but more recent uh, research um, says it's also involved in cognitive functions. Uh, autism is characterized by um, deficits in social interaction, repetitive behavior, and language problems. And we believe that there might be actually a learning dysfunction in autism that causes these language deficits. Of course, the end goal is we want to contribute to an understanding and treatment uh, of autism. But of course, um, you know, uh, we realize very well that it's a very long way to go, so we have to do small steps. Autism is a relatively new field. It's very, uh, there's a very strong interest in it these days. So it's a very small part, but given that it is a very devastating and, and uh, you know, it's, it's a disorder that affects people's lives and the lives of the families, it is worth every little step we can take. And of course, we hope to take it further then and develop it further and contribute to an understanding what this disease is due to. And of course, we would also evolve our research directions according to those results and develop into what the field is interested in at that point. We need to have a mechanism where pilot ideas and new concepts can be tested um, and the threshold for receiving the funding is not as high as for NIH funding. Um, so if a new faculty member comes in, often these people are in a situation where they have to kind of step a little bit away from the research direction of their previous mentor labs, right? So they have to take a risk, they have to develop new ideas, they have to develop new concepts. And um, a seed grant mechanism is very instrumental to support that and, and to help. But it's also about maintaining Chicago as uh, a city that is very strong in science and innovative. I truly believe that the uh, Brain Research Foundation has been extremely helpful so far and I hope it will.